video gives an overview of the Compact HMI System 6.0.1 installation, which includes the centralized and automated software installation and configuration, along with system deployment. The Compact HMI System version 6.0.1 supports Windows 8.1 or Windows Server 2012 R2 operating systems. While selecting the operating system, please note that the Compact HMI System 6.0.1 runs only on 64-bit operating systems. The Compact HMI new installation has three phases, Prepare, Setup, and Configure. The main purpose of the Prepare phase is to configure a node to be a Compact HMI node. During the Prepare phase, Activities such as selecting and installing the Windows operating system, configuring network adapters, configuring users and groups, setting up the other third-party software, and preparing the node using the node preparation tools are implemented. Before starting Compact HMI 6.0.1 installation, the configuration of users and groups in the workgroup environment of Windows needs to be completed. To configure the users and groups, log in as a user with administrative privileges and open the computer management console. Select local users and groups and select the users folder. Create software service account as a new user as shown. The software service account will appear in the user list. Once the software service account user is created, select the groups folder and create industrial IT admin group as shown. Follow the same process and create industrial IT user as shown. The software service account user needs to be added to the administrators group, the industrial IT group, and the industrial IT user group as shown. Log out of the current user and log in as a software service account user. The node preparation tool copies the installation file to the local drive on the computer and installs the 800XA base software, thus preparing the node for deployment of Compact HMI. To install the Compact HMI server, double-click on the setup.exe file located in the Compact HMI 6.0.1 media. The 800XA system setup window appears. Enter the password in the respective field. Accept the license agreement by selecting the checkbox and click on the node options as shown. In the node option window, select Compact HMI Server Node checkbox and click OK. Click Start Node Preparation in the 800XA system setup window. The preparation process starts. A progress bar shows the process of the preparation. On successful completion, click Close on the System 800XA installation progress. The system reboots when the Compact HMI 6.0.1 preparation is complete. The System Configuration Console helps with the configuration and installation of the system functions and the functions allocated to the node. Wait until all the core products are prepared and then select the System Configuration Console and the System 800XA Configuration Console window appears. Select System Setup and select Configure System as shown. All the system functions will be displayed with their property and status. Wait till all the functions are deployed. Select System Node tab and select Allocate Functions. The Allocate Application and Service Function window appears. 
select the application scheduler services, basic history services, calculation services, SMS and email messaging services, soft point services, PLC Connect services by clicking the checkbox and click on All the selected functions will be displayed in the System Node tab with their properties and install status. Click Deploy System to deploy all functions. The Deploy Progress bar will turn into green color once the deploy is completed. Close once all the nodes are deployed. This completes the installation of the Compact HMI system node as a server node. It is important to note that the Compact HMI software product should not be installed manually. This can cause inconsistencies in the information stored in the aspect directory, which will lead to unforeseen consequences in future maintenance of the system. More information about Compact HMI installation can be found in the Compact HMI Getting Started Guide. We thank you for watching.